Vegas visitors are getting more and more concerned about the increase in violence in the Las Vegas area. Now, me personally, I'm a little more concerned about why there's more. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, it's no secret that Las Vegas has experienced roving scooter gangs fistfights, and even shootings in the metro and tourist areas. Heck, it's not even a secret that crime happens in Las Vegas in general. In fact, according to AreaVibes.com, an FBI report from September of 2019 indicated that Vegas actually has a 33% higher overall crime rate than the U.S. national average. That's a third more crime than most other places. It has 29% more property-related crimes and a whopping 59% more violent crimes than the national average. That's almost 60% more. Well, if that's not new information, then why is everybody so concerned right now? Well, the biggest thing is really location. So because of where this is all happening, the largest concern on everybody's mind is, especially Vegas visitors, is the Las Vegas Strip safe for tourists right now? And hopefully we can answer that a little bit in today's video. Why is this a big deal? Well, it's a big deal for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, tourists are going to Vegas to have a good time, and it's really hard to have a good time if you don't feel safe. Reason number two, companies want people to come to Vegas and spend money. And frankly, it's hard to get somebody somewhere where they don't feel safe, and if they don't show up there, they don't spend money. And number three, the government wants companies to make money. That's where they collect their tax revenue. But there's no tax revenue to collect if money has not been generated, and money cannot be generated unless the companies get people to Vegas, and companies will not get people to Vegas if people don't want to go to Vegas because they don't feel safe. Now, I could go on for a while about this, but I think you guys get the point. Bottom line is, Vegas is a tourist town, and without tourists, you're gonna have a terrible time in that town, not just socially, but economically as well. So now that we have that aspect figured out, now is the time to unpack the bigger question. The why. Why is there more violence in Las Vegas right now? We keep seeing these viral videos and news reports of the violence on the Strip, and finally, the actual experts have weighed in on this issue. The first expert on the docket is Sheriff Joe Lombardo of the Las Vegas Metro Police Department. Now, old Sheriff Joe has been in law enforcement for a long time. He's been on the force since 1988, meaning that he's been there over 30 years. That's the vast majority of his adult life he has spent explicitly crime fighting. Also, he's a graduate of the National FBI Academy, so he's got his credentials in place. One good day Las Vegas actually asked him about the recent spike in violent crime, he had this to say, quote, It's just a lot of people in a small condensed area, and you infuse their desire to have a great time and infuse things like alcohol and drugs, and it's a bad combination. This isn't a new experience for Lombardo. In fact, back in 2016, when he was asked about another spike in violent Vegas crimes, he actually linked them back to visitors from California, allegedly largely related to drug territories. And, according to the Las Vegas Review-Journal article that I found on the subject, he also seemed to imply that depopulation of California prisons was another part of the problem there, too. It seems like a simple enough explanation, but there are some people that think it's a little more complex than that. The mental health experts, for example, seem to think that it's the far-reaching effects of the pandemic that are the biggest sources of strife right now. According to an article by KTNV Las Vegas, Dr. Laura Chappelle, who's a clinical psychology PhD, seems to think this is the issue. Quote, assuming that a person perhaps has a six-figure salary job is going to be less violent than the person who is making 60000 or 30000 a year is entirely untrue, unquote. Delivering her theory that the recent spike in unemployment due to the pandemic might also be another factor in inciting this increased violence. This actually ties pretty well into another one of her colleagues' thoughts. Mandy Barron, founder of Elemental Therapy, actually put more emphasis on the pandemic when she was quoted. Quote, 
there is an overarching sense that the world is going to hell in a handbasket, and some might feel like to let loose and have fun now. Oddly enough, all parties involved seem to think that this all boils down to one thing. The fact that the pandemic is bringing out the worst in people right now. And whether you believe in the current events virus, and, you know, let's be honest, it's kind of out there, but we're not going to have that conversation on this channel, believe you me. Fact of the matter is, the effects are far-reaching. The Las Vegas Strip hotel occupancy is down over 60% compared to last year. And the quarter-over-quarter -quarter revenue loss from the big boys in the casino game has become more and more clear as the days move on. And with hotel occupancy floating around 40%, it's probably not too reasonable to expect those numbers to make a big bounce back anytime soon. On the guest side, as recently as July, national unemployment rates were still over 10%, meaning in your group of 10 friends, at least one of you, more than likely, is unemployed right now. So with all that in mind, combined with what we discussed in a previous video a couple weeks back about the same subject, there is a lot more strife to consider. Let's assume you're in good enough physical health to travel. Let's assume that you don't have any quarantine restrictions in your home state or you can abide by them. Let's assume that there's no travel advisory banning travel. And let's also assume that you're gainfully employed. And finally, let's assume that you can actually afford a Vegas vacation right now. Even if you factor in all those factors, which a lot of people don't have the luxury of saying they have right now, there's still not a lot to do in Vegas, unfortunately. Yes, you can gamble. Yes, you can eat. Yes, you can look at the beautiful exhibits. Yes, you can check out museums. But there are a lot of things that Vegas is known for that you can't do right now. Not all the hotel casinos have been opened. There are no nightclubs. There are no conferences. There are no concerts. There are no shows. There are no parties. There are no adult clubs. And in addition to that, the things that are open, like bars, restaurants, and casinos, have to abide by strict social distancing policies. Meaning, if you're number 51 in line at the pool, and they have to cut it out at 49, you're pretty much out of luck. So, in Vegas right now, it is still possible, even with lower occupancy rates and lower travel rates, to run out of room real fast. Now put all that together, especially with people who A might not have good coping mechanisms, and B, might get pretty desperate, you can see how that can cause a bit of a toxic effect. Now, what do I think about all this? Frankly, violence is nothing new in Las Vegas, Nevada. You gotta keep in mind, guys, this was a town that was run by the Mafia at one point or another. You know, the same guys that if you won too many games in their casino, they take you into the back room and, uh, fix your fingers or, you know, your face or something along those lines right there. They weren't exactly the nice, sunshiny, fun, wise guys that people seem to make them out to be. The Chicago outfit, they were some pretty, pretty rough customers. Let's just call it what it is. Let's not put rose tinted glasses on and say, hey, you know, back in the day when the mob ran Vegas. Yeah, back in the day when the mob ran Vegas, if you had a really good hand, you'd probably lose your hand. Those things happened. But my personal opinion, when I read into all these shootings and stabbings and fist fights and other things, most of them seem to have some sort of personal attachment to them. Like somebody got mad at somebody and most people seem to be involved with each other one way or or another. So they didn't seem too terribly random, aside from the scooter incidents, but I think that's a video for another day. Now regardless, this has all resulted in an increased police presence on the Strip. Is that gonna help? Well, only time will tell, because this sort of thing, it's hard to predict what the far-reaching effects will be. That's, that's okay. Bottom line, best thing to do is keep good company about you, and keep your wits about you at all times. Maybe indulge it a little less, look around more, keep your wallet in the right spot, and your eyes in the right spot as well. And I suspect you'll do okay. That's my best advice. Okay there Spinach and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's discussion and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time, I've got an interesting My Vegas experiment in the works, and I think you'll all enjoy the results.
Until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas, and I'm signing off. And I'm also wishing you all strong hands and, of course, happy spending, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.